What's up guys, Naz here, and today is a quick kettlebell swing tutorial. So you've probably seen the kettlebell swing, and you maybe have tried it. Today's just a couple quick pointers to make sure you're getting the most out of the movement and also making sure you're preventing injury. So kettlebells are a great tool to use in your programming. I really love using them for the metabolic effect, fat burning, or basically high intensity interval training. So they can be a great strength building tool and they can also be a great conditioning tool. So they're very well rounded, but there is a little bit of a learning curve. So the kettlebell swing is one of the more basic, well-known exercises, so that's a good place to start. So mastering the kettlebell swing is going to start with mastering a hip hinge. Now, if you don't know what a hip hinge is, just think of a deadlift. So a deadlift, uh, conventional, not sumo, so with your feet a little bit closer, that's going to require a hip hinge, okay, to do with correct technique. So basically, we want to hinge from the hips and we're keeping our torso upright and flat with a slight bend in the knees. So we're utilizing our hamstrings and glutes to initiate the movement. Your knees shouldn't be coming forward at all, so it's not a squat. So that's the first thing. A lot of problems with the kettlebell swing start just with bad positioning. When we're performing a kettlebell swing, you have to remember it's a ballistic movement. So even if you're able to do this swing correctly, another thing that I see a lot of times is overextension, not being able to maintain a brace position at the top. So maintaining a brace position is gonna be really key and it's going to help prevent lower back pain. So the kettlebell swing can really, really tax that lower back if you're not maintaining that brace position at the top. And what's the brace position? We want to be nice and flat here. Our glutes are tight, our abs are tight, our ribs are down, and we're nice and tall. So the torso is tall. We have basically perfect posture. So that's, that's their top of the movement. So the common mistake is maybe we're hinging correctly, but then at the top we're overextending at the lumbar and throwing that lower back into the movement instead of bracing right here. So we gotta be able to maintain that brace position at the top of the movement. So those are three common mistakes. Another thing that I see a lot is lifting the weight with the upper body. So shrugging the shoulders and trying to basically do a front raise. Now, you're not gonna be able to do that when the weight gets heavier and the heavier you do that, the more stress it's gonna put in your lower back because you're not gonna be able to front raise that much weight. And even if you can, you're not getting the most out of the movement. So you're going to fatigue a lot faster and just not gonna be able to maximize the movement. So we're just gonna run through some kettlebell swings and I will show you good form and bad technique. So always start with the kettlebell on the ground, in front of the feet. We want our feet just about shoulder width apart, a little bit wider, toes pointed out slightly. And then we're gonna hinge. Chest is up and tall, but we're bracing. We're sitting back, and then we're gonna grab the kettlebell and tilt back without losing that position. Flex the lats like you're trying to break the kettlebell. That's important. Then we want to initiate the movement by swinging back through the hips and then extend. And then make sure to brace those abs and stay flat at the top. Staying tall, and maintaining that brace position throughout. So squeezing tight at the top, but we're not trying to hold it up there. We wanna make sure it falls right back through. Now, for bad position, I'm gonna demonstrate that really quick. And again, you're gonna see the difference here. If I come down and I swing the kettlebell and then I'm throwing my back into it, you notice I'm not getting that full swing back. I'm kind of squatting instead of letting it swing through. 
and I can already feel that in my lower back. So always try to prioritize, prioritize position for the movement before you initiate it. Make sure you get that, those basics down and your lower back will thank you and you get a lot more out of the kettlebell swing.